what is going on everybody happy new year hopefully everybody stayed safe last um didn't go out and get in any kind of trouble we had all went off last night but till like 2 a.m in the morning all right so i want to do kind of like a little bit of a review for some of the cards i picked up this year now i am going to say cards are still currently out being graded so or they're in my safe uh, or safety deposit box so i won't have those here but these were more of like under two thousand dollar pickups that i still have here a couple of them are still gonna go out and get graded but i still have them here um some you may have seen some you may have not through the videos through the course of the year so let's uh start off let's see what we got here this year this is a redemption this comes out of Topps Chrome Black. It is the green refractor. Now, I don't have the actual card because I'm still waiting. Uh, green refractor of Lou Bob. Still a little bit of high hopes for him next year. We'll see what happens on to it. You never know. Uh, players in baseball come and go very, very quickly. To find the elite ones is very hard. To go along with Mr. Lou Bob, we had... Uh, I guess I should put this up a little bit more. Er, there we go. This is from Bowman Chrome Sapphire. It is a PSA 10. Uh, Blue Bob as well, too. Very beautiful card. Now, like, kind of like crooked when I do this. That's how I play the camera real quick. There, there we go. So, very beautiful card. Might not get the whole appreciation value of this thing because of uh, the angle I have to have the camera at. But... I like this. It's just uh, hanging around to the right time. Uh, so most, some of these are mostly investment cards. A uh, couple over PC. I'll let you know when I get to them. This here is Nakuna Tops Chrome Rookie Refractor uh, PSA 10. It's one of the very few Acuna Rookie Autos that I still do have. Love this card. This I want an Omega Raz for $40. I think the last I looked at the value of these things, they were around like seven, eight, nine hundred, somewhere in that ballpark. It's been a while. But until he like goes out and explodes again, I'm just letting it sit there. It's an investment card. Uh this is PC. This was actually pulled in one of my breaks, and the guy uh did uh, trade to trade it to me because he knows I'm a huge collector of bat knobs and bat uh, barrels, one of ones. Happy 101s, and it can't be the uh, fake ones that are out there. It's, it's the real ones. Fake ones meaning that they're, like, not real game used. Uh, Tops does have them out there like that. But uh, this is pretty cool. Wade Boggs. I was happy with this. It's PC. It's just not nothing big. It's going to go into the safe. It's just one of the ones out in display in my case that I usually rotate around. Uh, moving on. This was... Uh, Somebody I know, he gave me a deal. He picked it up and gave it to me for the same price on a deal. Come on, camera. Work with me, camera. This here is Sidney Crosby. This is hockey. Yes, I do collect Crosby. Sign of the Times 2019 SP Authentic PSA 10. Probably around $350, $400 for the card. I, I don't know. I just I don't really track these down. I just usually see them and buy them because... He's been a great addition to Pittsburgh since he came in after the Mario Lemieux era. Really, really good kid. But I shouldn't say kid anymore. He's a straight man. Man. So, uh, move to this one. It's going to be a little bigger. Hit this in a Raz. Because I wanted to get something different to Kyler Murray. I got tired of seeing just like Prism rookies and stuff like that. And I wanted something autoed. This is the Origins booklet. It does have Andy Isabella on it. They do have two color patches or three color patches onto it. And this was out of 25. So, pretty nice looking book. Come on, you crazy camera. 12 out of 25. And a lot of people keep putting Kyler down right now. You got to remember, he's still young in his career. I believe he has a bright future ahead of him. His offensive line and defense are not helping him out in the game. Almost like Herbert, man. They have no O line down there, and it's. I mean, he does have weapons, but just hurting defensive wise. This here was a nice pull too. 
Uh, more than likely, this will stay in my collection. John Morant, I think he's going to be way better in Zion through the years uh, to come. This is the rookie scripts. This was recently pulled within the last month. Um, you can see the J just barely comes off the sticker. I had to freaking uh, bring the microscope out to make sure. But you can almost tell right there because I, I was kind of curious because he kind of wings it at the end. But this will be going to PSA after the test runs. Uh, can't do Becca because the auto will come back at 9. Last two big boys that were this year pulled. Uh, I feel what I spent into this, but this one here I think was like $138. Herbert's two RPAs. This one is two color. Barely can see the second. A little blue stitch in there. Prism RPA, about 99. And the iMac, uh, 99. These more than likely are going to be headed off to uh, either probably Beckett, these two, um, just because they're a thicker stock card. And they'll probably end up going into PC for a good bit of time, uh, to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to collect the kid or not. I, I was just a huge fan of him coming in this year. So, uh, plus I already have a, everybody knows who I healthily collect, and that's Michael Jordan. Uh, Roberto Clemente, Sidney Crosby, and Ben Roethlisberger has to be rookie on to it. I, I started breaking it down to be a little more specific on this stuff. Uh, just because, like, I don't want every Roethlisberger card out there. But it's mostly almost all Pittsburgh except for Jordan because we don't have a uh, basketball team in Pittsburgh. And the first basketball game that I actually watched with my dad back in the day was the Bulls. And I just, I think it was Jordan's rookie year, as a matter of fact. And he was just exploding. So, kind of had brought some excitement because I always thought they looked boring with my dad watching a dude dribble up and down court. But other than that, hopefully everybody had a good new year. Wanted to share a little bit of stuff with you guys. Um,. There were a couple bigger cards that I picked up this year, but they are not at my location. And for me to drive, and the reason why I do this uh, and put stuff in a safety, my safety deposit boxes, let me make that plural. Um, I move them, I have it about 40 to 45, well, from where I'm at now, about 40 minutes. So to me, it, for me to go there and get them, I have to be like really wanting to go in there. Because then I got to drive them back. I don't keep them in my house. Um, and the, most of the reason is, in fact, that I do have baseball card insurance. But when you start pricing some of the bigger stuff, especially the Jordans, the autos I have and stuff, they've really gone up. Like Lucas and stuff, too. Um, they had to go in a safety deposit box where it's FDIC insured. And I had to have multiple boxes and stuff. And the insurance was a lot cheaper to put on those boxes into a bank. It, it, lot, it's hard when you start getting into uh, collectible insurance and stuff. But otherwise, I'd have showed some of those off. But there was only, I did an upgrade on a Clemente this year. I uh, picked up two Jordan autos. That's about really it. I don't really go crazy whenever it comes into, like, what I'm going to get for New Year's. Uh, this year... Uh, I already spoke on one video on to it, but it's going to be upgrading my 66 Clemente from a PSA 8 to 9. The pop level on it's a 37. So it'll be interesting. There is one on eBay, and the guy's a little bit high on to it, but I'm sure uh, through some people that I know, I'll end up probably trading for one somewhere out there. Uh, then I usually try to get a Jordan Auto per year. The Bulls, uh, with him in NBA uniform, is very, very pricey nowadays. So I've been picking up a lot of his North Carolina stuff for, from Upper Deck. Um, I do have a lot of Bulls stuff that's up in storage, uh, some crazy autographs. Uh, one day, when I decide that it's pretty much a day in the baseball card or sports card realm, and I'm going to sell... I'll end up going up there and I'll try to see if the bank will let me do a video inside there of uh, just what's in my boxes. Or maybe I can just take them out to my car and view that weirdo with a tripod out there or something and film myself in my SUV in the back and whatever, however I have to do it or something. I don't know. I'll see what they say up there onto it. It'd be kind of cool to show some of the cards that are up in there. 
Um, I think a couple of the cards, though, I might have showed in previous videos. That's usually used to try to do a lot of mail day videos, and I was slacking for a while. But yeah, the other thing that I'm looking at with uh, YouTube wise this year is uh, try try to get more. I guess creative with some of the videos that I do. In no way am I going to sit there and split out or spit out a uh, oh go buy all these guys right now. I may be more of doing some videos of like because I do invest into certain players and I flip them. But I think what I'm going to do is after I flip them and show the profits on to them type deal. Because I don't want to give out advice, and then if I am like when I was going Luca crazy and stuff like that years ago, or two years ago, uh, I saw people put money into something, and I'm wrong. I put stuff in that I can afford. I don't go overboard onto it. So I think we're going to look at some videos like that throughout this year. Uh, we got a bunch of PSA. I, I think we're now at like 12 orders sitting in PSA. Oh, wait, no, there's still two not logged in, so 14 in PSA. We'll definitely get some PSA videos this next year. Uh, we just had a stalemate from September on because, I don't know, they got too many orders in. So, uh, other than that, we're looking at probably doing uh, three to four card shows within the Louisville area next year as well, too. I will not be hosting anymore. I have uh, told them that I don't need my city license anymore for out here. Because uh, that's just a lot of work on one person. So everybody did come out and supported me last year with the card show. I do appreciate it. I'll still be out there with other people's shows. It's just way too much time, effort, money goes into putting on those shows. At the same time frame, the building rates went up big time. And it's just not affordable to sit there and try to put a show on. I worry if you're going to be able to fill 60 tables or not. Uh, but then draw people in, pay all the ad revenue and stuff. So to take that little bit of stress off me and refocus it into another direction, I'm going to end up doing that this year. But we'll still set up about four shows a year. Um, probably next one will be in March. Also, uh, on the wing, just so anybody knows, I'm planning on trying to go live next Friday. Yeah, one week from now. Issue being is Thursday, I have to have a procedure done on my knee. Um, it's going to put me on crutches for about two, maybe three weeks, they're saying. This is all based if my rapid COVID test uh, thing, it should, they said it's supposed to be back Monday, comes back negative and everything. It's nothing crazy or anything wrong. It's just I got to get some, some work done on the old kneecap. But uh, um, if I'm going to tentatively say I'm going to be live, I don't think I can make it a long live stream because my knee is going to be locked out into one place. So I'll probably do like an hour to an hour and a half worth onto it. Don't look at like two, three hour live stream. It might be just at an hour to be honest. Uh, but I, I will be live next Friday. It won't be very long. So we'll look at 9 p.m. Eastern again. That gives it to be 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for anybody that's out in the West Coast. And we'll go through some stuff that I've picked up. Uh, we'll do the auction and deals piece on to it. I don't like saying sell because when people hear the word sell, they think they're going to get cards at like 50, 60, 70% off. So to me, it's going to be auction and deals, auction and deals. I got to get that in my vocabulary this year. But other than that, everybody, hopefully your new year started off well. Mine did. I went one for one on a rat. So uh, I'm happy. I just said I'm officially at 100, uh, batting at 100 percent, or whatever you want to call it, this year. It won't last long though. But I am gonna call this as a video. We're going a little about 15 minutes into this, so I didn't want to make it absolutely too long. Do appreciate all the support, everybody. I do owe a video out here shortly. Uh, I'm waiting on the card to come in the mail for my December giveaway. Uh, for my members only to uh, pay the uh, subscription thing on the channel. No, I did not forget about y'all. Just mail sucks. It's stuck up in Louisville. And I've already put in claims on. It's been up there for 11 business days now. So, see when it gets in, then I'll run that video as well, too. All right, have a good one, everybody. See you guys next Friday live.